Today, we are reviewing the one month into Elementary OS Freya. So as you can see here, it I've kept it relatively stock because I like stock. But uh, so far from what I've noticed is that it is quite amazing. It's so much faster than what the uh, Luna release was. And I've, I've also this time around even got on a machine that hopefully won't overheat and stop the recording halfway in. It's got a little bit better processor. I'll make, I'll make sure I throw the link to the old video in there. Not that any of you will particularly care. But this time around, it does actually support Google. Which is nice. It the calendar is even actually useful this time around. It does actually support Google Calendar now. I didn't actually get logged into Google as you can see, but uh, it does have Google Calendar support, and I've even saw a couple things here that may that might lead to actual Google Drive sync integration, which is pretty darn awesome. We do actually need better support for it other than using Drive and I believe that there's a paid application too. Try not to mind the blurry camera. I don't know why it's blurry today. It just feels like it. Yeah, I've noticed that the wing panel integration has relatively not changed. There are still a couple bugs with it that I've noticed and I've reported them appropriately as well because that's the great thing about open source report a bug it will actually get fixed but here is one thing that I've noticed let me grab this here this is the same computer that I recorded it on last time and we'll just press the power button watch it turn on Get it out of the reflection of the other screen. It is an Acer, yes. Quite nice. It's an older one, so it does take forever to turn on. But as we can see here, the startup screen actually works, which I find amazing. I've never actually had this startup screen actually work on elementary OS on any of my computers, except this release which is, I like. I really do. I'll just put this back over here onto the desk. But we've still got photos. I don't know why it's so big. Get rid of that. Our default email client is still Geary. And we do have Midori as well. Which, Midori has actually gotten better as well in my own personal opinion of course not that any of you care but Dory we've got our awesome little indicators up there on the upper right it does use the Ubuntu Software Center I mean nobody really likes it because Canonical still doesn't update it but that's what we have a terminal for. Now, I've heard a lot of complaints. The terminal is black, and so is the video player. Yeah, our uh, launcher here, I believe they call it the Slim Launcher. I can never, I think that's what the name of it is. As you can tell, I still didn't do any research from the last video. Yes, I know, audience can't play that file. Uh, we still got all that. We have Archive Roller as our Archive Manager. Calculator. Document Viewer. Our music application is actually called Noise. I use it on a lot of different distributions, so I'm glad to see that they're, that they're keeping it here. And we even have an application for the cameras as well. Now I've got 
two cameras connected to this and it doesn't detect both of them very well which is fine with me now I'm really just using this one nowadays it does have gallery support for it as well so just take a picture of this nothing here and then go back over here there we go and it opens right up into the photos application which is really just the same thing as this one right here and it does have built-in bug support I've I've realized that scratch is by far one of my favorite text editors what it does is you create a new file start typing away this is a text editor because we like text editors and then we're going to well I'll just give it a name here go night blah and save now what will happen here is that I'm not going to save this but we're going to go over to our files application get that out of the way oh it didn't work this time but what scratch is supposed to be is it's supposed to be automatically saving unless maybe I forgot to turn it on on my condition okay but yeah what it'll do what it's supposed to do when it work when it works is it's supposed to automatically save any change that you make so in the event that you forget to hit the almighty control s to save your work it will save it for you or it's supposed to for some reason it just doesn't want to work for me I'll go back up into here we do have very clean system settings here got yeah, a couple options you can even set the defaults here and add applications for startup so we'll just say that we'll open up our email and our music application because we like to listen to music while listening while uh, using our email and that will automatically open those applications on startup which you guys probably know about I'll turn that off. Got our keywords stuff. Nice little shortcuts to everything, which I actually quite like. It's a lot cleaner than XFCE, in my personal opinion, in that. Bluetooth, this computer doesn't actually have a Bluetooth adapter, so that doesn't work for me, obviously. Got a couple things in here. A couple of desktop settings. As always, they have pro probably the most beautiful backgrounds. We'll just go back to the beta blue. And then one thing that I've noticed is that it will actually detect my printer. And it actually works. Which is amazing. I've never actually gotten this printer to work under Linux. Which it does. So we'll go ahead and remove that. My personal opinion is Freya, it's going to be great. It still needs work though, which is not an issue. Let's see, we'll just go check for updates. We'll close out of that. Now, I've noticed, I don't know if they fixed it yet, but their update manager likes to call it Ubuntu. It still does. Ubuntu 0 0.3. It's not Ubuntu. It's probably something that's quick and easy to change. Although I know that's the bane of every single programmer's existence where somebody says that it's something that's quick and easy to change. But in this case, it's probably just a name reference to the text file. I'm not going to worry about the updates right now. Uh, I've only installed two things. Unlike 
unlike my last video where you probably saw that I already had a couple things installed. I just got GovC views so you can see my lovely face that's still blurry. Yes, I am losing hair. I am well aware. And then I've got simple screen recorder. Live, just to record the video. But our desktop switcher here is, uh, is also pretty darn cool. I can grab a window, move it over here, and then just move it over there as well. Which a lot of people seem to really like that visual effect. I'll just put that back over there. Go back to this empty workspace. Out of the box, it's actually very usable, in my opinion. And uh, the installation for it just uses the uh, same Ubuntu in install thingy. Yeah, thingy. But you sh everybody should definitely try it. Definitely. And also, I don't care if you subscribe to my channel. I don't make any money on it. I don't even think that it's AdSense enabled, so I'm probably never going to make money on it. Never. Dang. Anyways, I may or may not start making more videos. I just released this largely just for my own self. I just wanted to make a video just to make a video. But anyway, if you guys feel like it, go ahead and subscribe. I never release a video in the first place. And then, that's really it. Just a short video this time around. Not quite like my 10 minute video. I probably went more definite, but I haven't watched it since I put it up on YouTube. So maybe I should go rewatch that at some point. And maybe release another more detailed video than this one. But there's already a lot of other people that cover a lot more things about an elementary OS than what I just did. It's act from a beginner standpoint, I actually have my grandma using this, which is if it passes the grandma test, it's got to work, right? Beginners, it's definitely a beginner's distribution. It does have. It's just like any other Linux distribution as well, so you can go more in depth if you want to. But other than that, that's really about it. And yes, the screen did just turn off because the laptop overheated. Yeah, I need to get a new one. 